Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing an important methylating agent in organic chemistry, methyl iodide. For this synthesis you will need 120 milliliters of methanol, 42.3 grams of red phosphorus and 83.3 grams of iodine crystals. Start by fixing a 500 milliliter round bottom flask on a stand inside an ice bath. 120 milliliters of methanol was added to the flask. The methanol was allowed to chill in the flask. Next, using a powder funnel, 83.3 grams of iodine crystals were transferred to the chilled methanol. Iodine crystals quickly dissolves in methanol and the resultant solution is deep red to almost black in color. Next, we start adding the red phosphorus in small scoops at a time. This will immediately start the reaction and the reaction is exothermic. That is the reason we are using an ice bath. The boiling point of methyl iodide is 42 degrees C and is pretty volatile. The reactants used for the synthesis is also expensive, so we can't afford to lose even 1 milliliter of the product. Once all the red phosphorus is added, the ice bath is replaced by a water bath and a distillation setup was assembled. Now let us discuss about the reaction. The iodine initially reacts with the red phosphorus to form phosphorus triiodide in situ. This in turn reacts with the methanol to form the methyl iodide. Aluminium foil was used to insulate the round bottom flask, the splash head and the distillation head. This would help the vapor front to quickly make it over to the condenser. The water circulating in the condenser coil is pre-chilled. The receiving flask was also placed in an ice bath to minimize the evaporation. All these factors help in increasing the yield of the product. When the water bath is gently heated, methyl iodide quickly makes it over and drips down the condenser column. You can clearly see that the temperature has reached 42 degrees C. After a few minutes, distillation dies down and the temperature climbs to around 50 degrees C and this is when the distillation is set to be complete and the apparatus was dismantled. The contents of the receiving flask was transferred to a measuring cylinder. A total of 47 milliliters was obtained. It was then poured into an amber glass bottle for storage. The bottle contains a piece of copper metal to prevent the decomposition and the bottle was covered with aluminium foil to provide an extra protection from light. That's all in this video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. So thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and click on the notifications icon so that you will get notified about my new videos. Thank you.